Okay, so I asked this uh, delightful question on uh, um, if you do uh, <clears throat> along the lines of if you do a lot of clearing of the soul um, and there was an author that talked about um, you know your personality and your soul if they're in alignment that's authentic power uh, an author Gary Zukov I believe seat of the soul and but they're asking me um, if you do uh, the clearing can the direction of, or you do a lot of clearing, can the direction of your life change and what you're about change? I think that's a, a lovely question. I would talk about it from a lot of different viewpoints <clears throat> as I see it, uh, take what you want, leave the rest. Okay, so generally speaking, I would say, you know, the uh, um, through muscle testing research, the average spiritual seeker has had about 15 uh, prior lifetimes. And one can make, um, one can make, so one probably has a lot of baggage, good and bad, good karma, bad karma, with a huge number of people from past lifetimes, good, good ones and, and bad ones. Uh, I won't go into the laws of karma, uh, but anyway. So I, I would say that my view, and he, and he talks about karmic contracts and also making karmic vows um, and how, um, you know, it may be that prior to this incarnation that one has, has uh, you know, um, it may be from a higher level, uh, you could say spiritually ordained as a high likelihood that various people are going to be incarnated in the same lifetime and meet up for the undoing or the learning of lessons of certain uh, karmas or karmic contracts that need to be done. And I think there is probably a optimal-ish path you know, uh, that you can fulfill, you know, you may get a, it may seem to the soul, okay, there's going to be incarnation into this lifetime, probably going to have these parents and I'm going to meet these people um, for for good, good stuff and for bad stuff. Um, you know, some could be forgiveness lessons, some could be um, people that will just do lots of good for you as you've done towards them in past lifetimes. Uh, so there seems to be a mishmash, which is a high likelihood if you make all the right choices and uh, you, you know, you're likely, <clears throat> I'd say, say for, for the current incarnation to meet the obligations of light and love and, uh, and do your bit in clearing, you know, it might be that you're going to, you know, if things go optimally, <clears throat> a certain amount of stuff is going to be cleared and you're going to emit so much light and love into the world. For that incarnation. Now what if you clear more or you do so much clearing uh, that you're, you're dissolving away so much stuff um, that you've cleared away all your karmic contracts and you've evolved so fast you've been really more, even more dedicated and it seems like the karmic contracts and the people you've sort of cleared away a lot of this baggage and it wasn't really expected shall we say for that lifetime and what was orchestrated for you to experience in that lifetime well, you know, for me, it's <clears throat> so I just like to answer the question, which is really answered by levels of consciousness from Dr. Hawkins. So, you know, um, at this, the involvement of the soul, if you like, or the limited self is a reflection of the level of consciousness one is at. So if one, is, for example, I was an addict, you know, a food addict, uh, various addict and um, had a lot of fear. I had a lot of addiction. I was very limited. Uh, and very fearful and, and using food and other addictions just to try and escape and numb out and get some kind of joy out of uh, using on the world. So, or escaping the world through addiction. So that is a very low level of consciousness. There is no alignment with spirit. It's just darkness, destruction to self and others. It's just the darkness reigns. As you start to do spiritual work, you know, you start to learn about spiritual principles, uh, get inspired by spiritual groups uh, or texts, and you start to be more in spiritual alignment. So yes, you could say that now there's spirit in what you do. You, type, you like to love, you like to forgive, you like to be of service, you like to do good in the world. Uh, and you could say now that the personality or the ego is in alignment with the, with the soul. Now you could say in alignment with soul, like the individual, individual higher calling, you could say individual with the universe, um, <clears throat> but the, the greater calling and the greater guidance 
uh, of how you can be used, your talents and your light can be used. Now, you could say that everyone's making choices. And so the world is actually complex and is changing very fast. There's some people who make choices of light and some of darkness, shall we say. So the landscape changes, even though I'd say due to karmic contracts and incarnations, there is a, a general theme that's going to go on for the next, you know, 10, 20, 100 years, which is more or less sort of ordained, not ordained, but there's a high likelihood of certain things occurring for groups of people being incarnated with group karmas to undo or individual karmas or parents to be incarnated with. So a lot of things that are quite likely to happen, you know, if you've got your parent with their baggage and you with your baggage in the same house, it, it almost seems like a lot of this stuff is expected to happen, uh, but you could move faster or slower through the stuff. You could choose not to forgive and could go downhill. But as you go higher into the light, then yes, you could say you're choosing the higher, your soul is directing you, your guides are directing you to choose the pathway for optimal use in this lifetime. And, um, and that's great. So the personality and the gifts of the personality and the limited self are more in alignment with the, with the source of light. Um, as you, of course, as you go to more advanced levels of consciousness, you dissolve any duality within you that there is such a thing as a soul uh, that's different to God. You become a clear channel, meaning that there's no you any longer or no soul individuated aspect of self. So then you become what's called a, a pure channel. I would say, for example, a saint is someone who's nearly at the level of enlightenment. So they have uh, saintly attitudes. They have some level of the limited self, a small remnant of the limited self, but they're very much orchestrated in light and love and service and forgiveness and doing good in the world. So they would be, you could say that they're very, very high with very little limited self. Then you have the avatars and the, and the enlightened teachers, and the enlightened, um, and the enlightened, where there's no limited self, you could say there's no even duality of a soul. Uh, there's no, there's not even a me and a God. So through that infinite, the infinite pureness of that channel, then what the universe then is just orchestrating the light of the universe through infinite guidance, if you like, even though it sounds like a paradox, to be utilized in whatever is happening in the world for, 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 for light and love and maximum uh, to, to allow uh, the maximum level of light and love to enter this world uh, with whatever current circumstances are unfolding within it. But uh, to answer the question, I think there is generally quite a high likelihood of things going a certain way within certain parameters. You know, you're born with certain parents in a certain country, uh, there's certain group affiliations. And so there is an optimal path that you could say your soul, your spirit, a path of highest good that you would be expected. But I think um, obviously choices are changing, obviously you might evolve faster. Um, but as you evolve faster, uh, it would just mean that the, the light and the guidance of your soul or spirit or, or, or the universe will orchestrate you accordingly. Because you're now, you know, for all the darkness in the world, if there's more light suddenly than was expected, uh, that can be deployed intuitively to counteract and to transmute any negativity uh, within the world. Okay, so I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna press stop 